This is us. This is that. And I'm this. It is friends like these. <laughs> It's for sure one of two teams the best made it far out for the chance to win the best holiday they'll ever have. And to win the chance to play for that holiday, our players must compete in a series of solo head to head challenges where the fate of their mates lie entirely in their hands. So the pressure's on from the start. Our friends have just one chance to be a champ. You like this bit? I'm a chump. <laughs> Lose it. Let's win and this week's team is first up. It's the Masses from London! <laughs> Well, they're the closest group of friends I know. Major for ages, and I'm here to as well. I've known Dee for 10 years now. Uh, her nickname's actually Tea. She's never had time, she's got to She's probably the funny one of the planet. Really, Dee's like, well, actually, know her. I've known Tea since I was 14. Um, you know, she calls herself Pink Spice because she's always in pink. Everything's a drama with Tea. She can make fine wild chocolate a big deal. It's the opposite. She's very calm, but she's a total perfectionist. She's obsessed with her nails and eyebrows, and everything's got to be absolutely perfect. Ed's the most played together as babies, and she's really good friend. I've known Steph for 50 years, we really love her, but even with the solutions, it's the matter. Steph works in a bingo hall, she's really into the kitchen, she's really well, I think it helps. I'm Shen, I'm Skyler, so I would be known as Lantern and Free. Um, I'm also known to be a bit bossy, they're right really, but I'm the one that brought them together, and nothing will get stopped down. We'd love to win the holiday, but if we don't, it really doesn't matter because we'll still be the best of friends, and that's what's important to us. Well, they're the Manta Ray's visit fish and even nestled up to the shops. 
He will die for the treasure, and once one of the animals four hundred shipwrecks. And once the sun has set into the blue of the sea, you can horse ride beside the moon and beach, or sip cocktails at your own exclusive beach party, and watch the dawn break over the pearl of the Caribbean. Ah, oh, luxury! Good luck, teens! <laughs> What do you think about that? That's all. Oh, yes, I, can that. I can tell you that right now. It's, uh, it's early afternoon. It's about 85 degrees. The sun's shining. The weather's sweet. Oh, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. No, I'm not going to stop. Do you know how doing cocktails just yet? It's too late. It's too late. We're going to get out of there. We're going to get out of there because. First teams, you've got to win the chance to play for that fantastic holiday. Yes, and remember, the more points you win early on, then the bigger advantage you have when it comes to that all important assignment. So let's have the tools for the first challenge. What's the all mate? Yeah, I'm going to go next to you. All right, teams, challenge one. To succeed, the friend you choose must have good peripheral vision, lightning reflexes, and a safe pair of hands. All of you teams, what are your faith in a friend, please? <laughs> Alright, on the end there. Right, first challenge. Who's going to be? Let me drag it. Let me drag it. Alright, one, two, three, and go. The chosen drag it is uh, Mr. Boxer. Yeah. Was he a good boxer? He was undefeated. Undefeated? Couple of fights. 100% record. Undefeated in two fights. Well done, man. And you've got the action for this game. Let's hope we've chosen one. Good luck. Girls, first challenge is not the point to come back here. Who are we going for first? Hey! What we have this big, this question is big, and look for a vision. She's a man with a shit in his head. Yeah. 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 Okay, Dan. Challenge one is reaction. A test of agility and reflexes. Four balls or four from these pipes at random. And Dean Greg must catch them and place them in this container. Now they both receive an identical number of balls and whoever collects the most in the time available wins that first vital point. Now the girls are going first, so Greg, please put on your mic off and headphones so you can't give unfair advantage by watching the girls' tactics. And did you please take up your challenge? All right, Dean, your yeah. first challenge. Well, we need to concentrate here. We really need to focus. The ball is going to be dropping down. Try and grab as much as you can and get them in the net. What happened? Because we're going on holiday. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> The two of them, if nothing else, the best of luck here, here come the gifts. First move, this challenge is about staying cool. These balls are falling on the way in one second, so it's inevitable you're going to draw the sun. He has to stay calm. Get a little maybe and try not to panic. Do you really have to concentrate when you're not catching him up? And there's only a few balls in it. Oh, that's it. Are you getting too bad? The balls have to be what you just done. Well done, dear everybody, give a big hand. There's 17 balls in the container. Can the group beat that? Well, we'll find out. Boys, please get Sam Greg to take off his blindfold and the pair of headphones. And he's back with us. Hello, Greg. Please take up your challenge. <laughs> okay, my friend, here you go. It's part for the boys, okay? So after you hit the third beat, all right? Well, let's get something like John Burgle. Grab as many balls as you can. Okay. <laughs> all right, good luck. Okay. Here come the bits. Oh, no. <laughs> Here come the bits. Oh, no. Well, he's won.
queen going forward. Lightning reactions from Drake. Well, traditionally dancing around. Drake has a boom going now. He's kind of sussed this. Seeing he's concentrating mostly on the middle walls, which is a smart technique. But is he catching him up? Nothing to get so far. Where you see so much more focus than he was. Stop, isn't it? I'm not really thinking about it. I'm telling you, the girls are 17. Greg, you've got 24! So Mitch, let's see who's taking the third step towards that fantastic holiday in St. Kitts. Well, seven extra balls have got to means the girls have yet to score, but it's one point now, two more <laughs> You lost your show. Yeah. Well, what happened? Brand new British comedy. Girls, look at this. Destitute parents. Starts Friday, 8.30. Exclusive to Sky 1 HD. Last few wasn't quite the right choice for that clip, but now it's up to the rest of you now to catch up. As for you, boys, one point ahead. That point could make all the difference when we come to the decider. Now then, there are four chances left for all of you to choose from. So can we have the clues for the next challenge, please? Oh, okay, challenge two. Dean's only two should have amazing powers of concentration, a well ordered mind, and a good memory when you That's all I'm going to tell you about the challenge at this stage. Over to you. Put your faith in a friend. Okay, teams, you've heard the clues and you hope you make a decision now. So, could our two chosen friends please take up your challenge? <laughs> so, for this challenge, the girls have chosen X and the boys have been there in sleep. So, now, a lot of my amazing powers of concentration and a good memory. Steve Edge, what we have in store for you this evening is an amazing challenge that you learned. Yes, the clue was in the words of good memory. So please welcome world memory champion, Dominic O'Brien! <laughs> Right, half a pack of cards with 26 cards. We're going to wait 30 seconds to try and memorise these cards in order. I'll just give them a quick shuffle now so there's been no fixing before Donald Trump. Quick shuffle there. I've right, done 26 cards. Head starts now. Okay, and Dominic O'Brien is possibly the greatest memory man of all time. His record for memorising a complete pack of cards is an amazing 38 and a half seconds. And he wants to memorise the 40 packs and correctly record them in exactly the right order. That's more than 2,000 cards. And you've got a 15 seconds. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell you there, Steve, and for your challenge is to remember 50 random objects in the correct order. And Dominic will train you using specially developed memory technique. Okay, Dominic, type up there. Got the card sheet. Could you tell me what the eighth card was, please? Eighth card? Yeah. In the deck? Yeah. The deck is. <laughs> I think it's the Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jack of Diamonds. Eight. Fifteen card should be the. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
and the diamonds. Place now you see what I'm going to do. You've got to memorize 50 random objects. So you can do it. No problem. Yeah. 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 Do, yeah. do you think you can uh, have this one out? I'll be right. confident in that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck, Steve. Yes. I feel now you've seen it. Yeah, you're gonna do it. What challenge would it be yet? But here are the clues to help you decide with your way out. Okay, challenge three. The running team should be coordinated, precise, and steady. That's all the things I'm going to give you. Teams, put your faith in a friend, please. Walking notes, coordinated, precise, and steady. Who's that? Me. Me. Alright, lads, steady, precise, good coordination. Don't be wrong, Paul. No! I'm used to dealing with that thing in the same situation. You understand that? He's not. He's not. What is the challenge? Challenge three at is power cycle. That looks easy, but it isn't all wrong. It's a test of precision and coordination. Now, the balloons are each worth a certain number of points. Now, players must maneuver themselves into a position to burst the balloons, score as many points as possible, and accuracy is paramount. All of these are trying to go first. So, I just want to see, I know you have the closed spaces, but can you put your blindfold on the front on the floor? And now, let's see if you're good at everything. Please take up your challenge. <laughs> All right, now we are our second challenge. Now, I found out you know something a little bit cheeky with your phone, so you sent a letter to the girls' team. Is that right? That's right, yeah. What was in the letter? Send us some more of I'm sending us some more of that. Oh, 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 I'm Seven, five, four, 
Thank you, Dick. Challenge four is not much more. Shen and John will be strapped into a harness which is suspended in the middle of these frames by a series of specially tied knots. Now, these knots are identical for both wares, but they tied and checked by a people called the adjudicator. Whoever frees themselves first wins their points. So, John and Shen are going head to head on this so for the two of you now. Take up your challenge. <laughs> Oh, then John, Shen, they're being there, they're both being clipped in there to the to the horse so by Sarah Eaton from the Royal Yachting Association. Thanks for that, Sarah. So, Shen, can I just ask you to stick these guns on as well? We don't want just letting any uh, ties of the uh, knots come back and hit you in the eye. How are you feeling? Quite confident. Now, the, uh, we've got two points on the board already for the rest of the lights in front of us. Now, I know last year you were playing in the front of the football game. We had to take some penalties, so, and you missed your hand, didn't you? It was a cup final, and final, 10 pounds everyone missed. Let's hope that doesn't happen in life, no? Look how it Good luck to the pair of you. You can still untie the knots after you hear the third view. You could be. Two knots down for the boys, six to go. And Sean still struggling with that first knot. And they've got one for the lads. Number four, James Harper from now. As a last, Sean tells her first one. Three left for John now. Shen's got another patchy lot to do. Let's go two down. And Tom's getting held up there. Can Shen take their advantage and make up some of our lost ground? Good work. Three for the girls. The advantage can change quickly this game as we've seen before. Shen really getting her teeth stuck into this. And catching up with John. And still held up on the most complex stuff. But he's done it! Come on, only two left of the fellas. That's the second he's gone undone. John on the final one now. And he goes three on his point, Shen's halfway on now. And three left still for the girls. So it goes down two left, points only one. This is going to be very close. And that's it, it's all over. Shen just wasn't quick enough. She had two left. I like girls. I just, uh, just had the two, the two left. I think she did a little bit of a big hand. Challenge, Rich! 
What's the scores? Very tense challenge. Shame's teeth came in handy there, but no points yet for the girls. Uh, John's obviously being tied up a few times before. Very good. Now the Liverpool lads, three points ahead. <laughs> The boys have three points ahead. No, let's the girls pull back. The boys have a big advantage from the goal to the decider. That's two girls. It's vital to try and keep that deficit to a minimum. Uh, do you know what? What's that? I think it's about time we did our memory test, don't you? Sorry, what? Not memory test. Memory test. Memory test. Remember? I you know, remember earlier on the show, our two teams of friends selected Steve and Ed to win vital points for their friends. We've been trained to remember 50 objects by a six time world memory holder, Dominic O'Brien. Eh? Oh, I'll say yes. Ah, right. Let's see how he's been teaching them and make sure he tells the rules. Dominic O'Brien has taken X and Steve on a journey around the television centre, plotting a memory path to have them record the objects. Now, they've had equal amount of time to memorise all 50 specific sequence. They have one attempt to recite the name of each item as they've been instructed. And whoever remembers the most in the right order wins. Now, it's Epps who'll go first while Steve remains outside the studio. So, Epps, if you're ready, please take up your challenge. <laughs> Mr. Ty, please, scarf, that's the field, post star, bus, label, umbrella, red balloon, yellow balloon, green balloon, lettuce, hat, dessert spoon, double decker bus, boat, screwdriver, wool, 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 tunics, white balloon, white bow, Sweet spoon, paper clips, sink plug, spanner, cauliflower, saucepan, saucepan, comb, button, clock, nails, Celtic pen. Dice, mud, mud, coins, teapot, towel, towel, spoon, gloves, watch, torch. Scissors, roses, shoe, <laughs> fountain pen, string, string, and stapler, stapler, fork, rope, <laughs> to stay on the chance of winning a part in this one. Stop a moment. 
as one point added to their final score. So, Neil, let's test out your wrong room training here. If you stay ahead, the lads get the chance to play for the holiday of a lifetime, and separate pressure gets on, even though the girls are behind. Here's where you could pull it back. So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Find us friends here at the BBC of me, deliberate over these games for months, and this is the ultimate. And we come down to tell you this. The game is today. As a kid, okay, Neil. I swear I explain you, the girls can't come back from this. It's up to you to just keep scoring. Okay, that's the look to the both of you. Good luck. Sadly, I'm going to go first if you let it. Jump up there and grab your scripture. And in your own time, take your first kiss and have your first shot. Sense so for one to the board. Set my best. Oh! Alright, still 4 1. Good luck. Here we go. You must score this. It's all on this disc. Come on, take it back, take it as much time as you need. If you get this disc down the hall at the end there, you win. And the boys go through to play for the whole day. Okay? Which is not You need to score this the scale again. In your time, good luck. 
maintain focus, concentrate. Thank you. 
What Steve's favorite alcoholic drink? Chuck Daniel's lemonade. GD lemonade! Answer was right. I'll be moving on to Greg. So I'm going to you. Let me choose a bit to the side door for you, please, Greg. Well, excuse me, Steve. Greg, come and join me. Steve, off you go and join us. <laughs> Alright, Steve, here we are. Let's hope your memory's good. You're very good before. We'll fit the objects. Uh, this is a little bit tough over here, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. Okay. Can we have Greg's 10 questions, please? Here we are. All right, no questions. So, uh, let's see. Greg's current home has a downstairs toilet. What colour is the seat? Come on, see that. Greg's current home has a downstairs toilet. What colour is the seat? It's white. It's white! <laughs> Neil, come and join me. Neil, you go and join them. Greg's going through. Keep going. It's going very well so far. Okay. And we have Neil's 10 questions, please. Alright, Neil, it's okay. Anyone you want me? Okay, here we are. Neil is a huge Liverpool supporter. Who is his favourite Liverpool player of all time? The answer is... Kenny Douglas. Kenny Douglas! Four out of four, one hundred percent so far. We're going for a full house. And John, it's over to you. We're going to play for your ticket. We left with Greg. So John, and Greg, come and join me. Greg, off you go and join us. <laughs> All right, Greg. Here we are, man. Let's make it fun. Come on. Right. Can we have John's questions, please? Pick a question for me there. Out of the ten. This for John's team is to join the rest of them to go the same place. Okay, and the final question. What national newspaper does John buy on his way to work? You see him after work, it's time to go from there when you're ready. What national newspaper does John buy on his way to work? It's all five percent hits. The answer is Daily Star. Daily Star! It's only, only remains for us to say a big goodbye on the post of